Coming soon to a theater near you. You know that article was accurate? Princess Leia is actually going to get married. You know what I just watched? Me ungluing a lightsaber from some twit Padawan's hand? Mall rats. Didn't you hear what I just said? Princess Leia is actually getting married. What'd you like better, clerks or mall rats? Clerks. Blasphemy. Clerks had the better ending. Dante lost his girlfriend. The girl he wants had sex with a dead guy in a bathroom, and he has a $500 fine imposed on him by the state of New Jersey. It ends on such a down note. I mean, that's what life is, a series of down endings. All mall rats had was a bunch of in-jokes. Something else going on in mall rats I couldn't figure out until today. In Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, they built a stage for Bluntman and Chronic, and they blew it up, right? Mark Hamill blew it up. Give credit where credit is due. The stage on Mall Rats was still being built when they destroyed it. Compliments of Silent Bob. It never sat right with me in Mall Rats. I never put my finger on it. Something just wasn't right. And you figured it out. The stage for Jay and Silent Bob Strikes Back was manned only by Miramaxers. Producers, the director, gaffers, basically. So, when they blew it up, no problem. Evil's punished. And the second time around? The second time around, it's still being used. So? A show like that uses non-show business people. College students, retail workers, office workers. Non-show business people, is that what you're getting at? Exactly. In order to get the show rolling, they'd probably bring in anyone who could be pretty for the camera. Do you think Hollywood would date anyone who wasn't famous? All I know is getting married in bad white outfits. Okay, so they brought in non-show business people. Why are you so upset at its destruction? All those innocent people were skunked out of a date. Casualties of a grudge they had nothing to do with. Alright, look, you're a college student. You have your books, you have the classes, the studio apartment on the south side of town. It's a chance to get a date on TV, which means all kinds of bragging rights. Along come these unionized dope peddlers and tell the thing down using the force. You didn't ask for that. You have no grudge against the host. You're just trying to get a date on Saturday night. Excuse me, I don't mean to interrupt, but what are you talking about? The ending of Mall Rats. My friend here is telling me that the contestants on the dating show were innocent victims when Jay and Silent Bob destroyed it. Well, I'm a college student, and I can tell you that personal politics comes heavily into play when choosing to appear on dating shows. Like when? Like three weeks ago. I was offered a spot on a dating show. Big one, too. It was going to be hosted at the Pit of Carcoon National Park on a sail barge. It told me I couldn't help but get a date either way. Then I realized whose sail barge it was. Well, whose sail barge was it? Jabba the Hutt. The Jabba the Hutt? The gangster? The same. The offer was tempting, but the risk was too high. I knew who he was, and based on that, I turned it over to a friend of mine. Based on personal politics. Right. And next week, Luke Skywalker went there to bargain for Han Solo's life. My friend was blown apart. Didn't even get to be called Bachelor Number 3. No way. I'm alive because I knew the risk of going on that show on that particular sail barge. My friend wasn't so lucky. Any college student out of a date on that show, it's their own fault. A college student listens to this, not his hormones. Jedi. Just because they use the Force doesn't mean they like you. <laughs>